hello viewers welcome back again to my channel this is glorious nishamu for today's recipe we are going to prepare a delicious dinner recipe please stay tuned so here i have all purpose flour it's about four to five hundred milligrams sorry grams and i have boiling water on the stove and there you see on the stove also have uh, boiled beans i've already boiled them and they're ready for making stew so to my flour i'm going to add some salt first Then I'm going to add some vegetable cooking oil. Then I'm going to mix it up together. just rub in the oil so to my next step i'm going to add my hot boiling water into the mixture of flour so i'm going to add this water gradually as i mix it together to make a dough Here already my dough is ready so I'm going to knead it for around 8 to 10 minutes so please be patient and for uh, the best results make sure that your water is very hot so that you don't need a lot right This takes some time, so please be patient. So now we are ready to cut into smaller chunks. So next step I'm going to make into small balls. So next step I'm going to roll this up into circles At first I'm going to dust my surface with um, flour before I start rolling
make sure you make um, concentric circles I mean you make good circle shape then pour some oil all over and just paste it all over the circle shape the dough then cut in the middle then roll one part and just repeat the process you see there in the video and just roll it up and make it also into a bowl this will ensure that our dough uh, comes in it has layer, layers so guys today we are going to make chapati um, welcome so much to this video if you have not subscribed to my channel please do and do not forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video thank you guys so I am repeating the same process and I am going to repeat this process throughout the, 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 the other uh, circular bowls Now we are done. So next step, I'm just going to roll uh, the chapati. Then just put it in the pan and start cooking. I'm going to go. Uh, 
for the ones that I had made earlier. I want to start with those ones that I already made later. There it is. So make sure you make uh, perfect circles if you can. Just try. It makes um, practice makes perfect, right? So now this is ready, my panels are heating up on the oven, on the gas cooker. So let me put it on the pan and just heat it up without cooking oil. Without cooking oil, sorry. I'm going to repeat the same process to all the other ones. To the other side. I'm going to turn it over to the other side so that also it can cook on the other side too. I'm going to put um, the next one just on top of the, the other one and allow it also to cook. So as my chapati is cooking, so I'll continue to rub all the other doughs, the small doughs, <laughs> the small <laughs> balls of dough. So I'm also going to allow uh, it to cook on the other side. Remember I've not yet put even a single drop of oil. So let me just heat them with the dry heat. Then I'm going to add my thin oil later. Like right now I'm just adding it on top. I'm going to flip it so that it can cook with the oil. Apply it to this side. Flip it upside down. Add some oil. Continue cooking.
now that this one on top is already cooked i'm going to remove it from the pan as you can see it has cooked on both sides and the one on the bottom is still cooking Yeah, guys, I hope you've seen the result. I'm, I'm telling you, it's looking so gorgeous, so delicious. So I'm also going to remove the other one. It's already cooked. Take a look at it, guys. So I'm going to repeat the same process to all the doughs of chapati, and we'll move to the next step. If you have watched this video till here, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for clicking this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So guys, here I am just making a piece where I am going to put all the fruit chapatis so that they remain warm and soft. That's why I am using a foil pepper. And that is an optional thing. You don't have to put a foil to You can just put it on your plate or on a bowl, and that's it. You're good to go. So, guys, it's the same same process to all the other chapati bowls. I'm just allowing it to cook without oil and I'm going to apply the oil later when they are dry and cooked a bit. So guys, I think you can see me more here and here. So but don't worry about it. Now I'm going to apply oil on the other side, then remove the one on top because it's already cooked on both sides. Look out how gorgeous they are. They look so yummy. So, onto my pan, I'm going to add some vegetable cooking oil and cook our beans stew. 
to go with the chapatis so I'm going to add a little amount of vegetable cooking oil to my pan already on the stove then I'm going to add my onions it's a medium sized onion medium sized onion so I'm going to allow it to also to cook then I'm also going to add some tomatoes blended tomatoes then we're going to add some spices and salt of course So here's my tomato puree guys, I'm going to add it to my onion. So I'm going to give this a little bit more stir. Then I'm going to add my spices one by one. So my first uh, spice I'm going to add is curry powder, so I'm going to add about a 3 quarters of a tablespoon. Then I'm going to add about a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Then I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of black pepper. Then I'm also going to add some salt to taste. Then I'm going to give this a big stir. Make sure that all the spices are incorporated into the stew, guys. So I'm going to allow this to cook for about 5 minutes. Then I'm going to add my beans. Remember that my beans are already boiled and cooked. So I just wanted to make them into a stew. That's why I'm going to add them at this point. Here you go guys. So I'm going to give this also a big big stir to make sure that the beans are also incorporated with the, with the steam, right? So I'm going to add a little bit of water so that it, it can cook slowly. I'm going to leave it on the it about five minutes till it boils then I'm going to turn off the stove and serve, serve it with my chapati so let me cover this up so that it can cook and we'll show you the next step so guys, thank you guys for watching this video. This is now is my chapati served with the beans. Thank you guys. See you in my next one. Bye.